The Planet Man. The Planet Man. This is the fascinating story of Dan Tro, the Planet Man, troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization, the law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world, whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Dan Tro, the Planet Man, fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. Dantro, the Planet Man, was buried under a pile of rocks and gravel, deep under the surface of the graveyard planet. Barrel is trying frantically to get him free. Meanwhile, Slats has returned with a fleet from the Mardi to rescue his friends not knowing where they are or what has happened to them. Just one more of these large rocks, and then I think you can free yourself from the gravel. I will power lift this one. There, that did it. Can you get loose? No, I hope so. We haven't any time to lose. No. Uh, 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 that should do it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Which way shall we go? Any passage that leads down. How many more levels are there? Only one more, I believe. There's a likely-looking passage. No, it's closed off. But not sealed. See, it's a door of some sort. Perhaps we can open it. Let's try. Come on, what are you waiting for? We won't have to try. You were right in fearing the insect men would detect that cave-in. They are coming toward us on the other side of that door now. Quickly, back around that bend. I'm right behind you. Looks like this little junket is going to end before it even gets started. Hurry, the door's opening. Hello, Aurora. Do your detectors show any signs of those ships yet? Not yet. Perhaps they've returned to the planet. No, I don't think so. From the way it looked to me, they were some kind of a patrol for ships that were caught like the Alpha, but not close enough to get pulled down. They tried to correct that little oversight. Yes, you were right, Slats. They're just registering now. They must have spotted the Alpha. They're coming right toward us at full acceleration. Are you ready for them? Ready and waiting. All right. Now, don't forget to save one for me. Yeah, I can see them now myself. Come on, boys. Here's a nice little sitting duck for you. But you're due for a shock. This little duck has teeth. That's up, babies. Come in close so you won't miss. Come on in closer. Here's little Slats, just sitting, waiting to be blasted. That's it. Closer. Closer. Okay, Aurora, give it to him and save that big round baby sonnet for me. Oh, brother, look at that Mardi fleet. Go on, try to run, wise guys. Huh? You thought it was just me. Well, here I come. Look at that one try to pile on the drive. I'll catch him. Come on, Alpha, tear! Yeah, it's gaining on him. That's it, Alpha. Just a little closer, baby. Yeah. Now, what'll I use? Disintegrator, heat ray, space mine? What'll it be? Eeny, meeny. The heck with it. I'll give him the works. Hey, easy. Darn near gut. I'll fix you. Try a dose of this. That did it. Bingo. Now who's ruling the roost, huh? Flat, I don't like to your fun, but hadn't we better head for that planet and Dantro? Okay, okay, you don't have to remind me. I was just going to beam you in. I'll come aboard the Alpha and then we'll head in. All right, come ahead. We got work to do. How many are there? Six, all armed with some kind of heat projector. You think we can take them? Why not stay here hidden? They might pass us by, and while they're checking that cave in, we can slip through the door. They left it open. And then what? No, here's what we'll do. Let them go by us and then hit them from behind. You take the three closest to us and I'll take the other three, but don't kill them all. I'll explain later. They're getting close. 
It's that here they come. Now! Watch that one on your left, Danton. Got him? Thanks, Farrell. Now look, look out! No danger. I destroyed his projector. There! Ah. Nice work, Farrell. There are five insect men who won't take any more slaves. May I compliment you on your aim, planet man? You did not miss once. I didn't dare. What do you want to do with this one? Let's take a look at him. Uh, insect man is a good name for him. Look at the ugly brute. What's he buzzing about? He is asking for mercy. Do you wish to talk to him? I can use my transcoder. No, you seem to understand him. Tell him we want him to guide us to the city below. He says he will be killed if he does. Well, that's too bad. Tell him he'll be killed if he doesn't. And tell him no tricks. We don't want to run into any guards on the way. He will lead us. Good. I don't trust him, though. Keep your eyes open. <laughs> I'm sorry. I keep forgetting you don't have eyes. You got much better means of perceiving. It's all right. I know what you mean. Why do you ask him? If he knew where the slaves were kept. Does he? He says he is one of the maintenance crew. The slaves are in a separate sector of the city. He thinks he knows the way. For his sake and ours, he'd better. Dantro and Barrel have overcome their first hurdle. What lies ahead? Can they trust their newly captured insect prisoner to get them to the sector of the slaves? We'll be back in a moment, so level up. When we left Dantro and Barrow, they had just destroyed five insect men and taken one captive. This newly captured prisoner was showing them how to get below to the insect planet headquarters. In the meantime, Slats and the Marty fleet have burned the insect planet patrol out of space. We find Slats and Rura aboard the Alpha as they prepare to land on the insect planet and rescue Dantro and Barrow. Are you sure your ships can pull out of this field when we want to, Rura? Of course, but if it will make you feel any better, I'll check our breakout point. What's this? We're not free, but in some sort of pull. Oh, brother. I don't know what happened, but we're caught. That does it. Some rescue mission this is. I thought you said... I know what I said, but I was wrong. Uh, I guess it's nobody's fault. I should have thought of checking before, but you seem so sure... Well, it's too late to worry about it now. Let's go. Go where? Down. Where else is there to go? The only chance we have now is to find out who or what's causing all this trouble and clean them out. All right, Slats, we're with you. Lead the way. I'll order the fleet to follow. He says that the cavern that contains the city is just around this bend. Ask him if the entrance is guarded. He says it is not guarded. It is a maintenance tunnel known only to the maintenance crew. What do you think we ought to do with him, Beryl? We can't take him along. He might let out a buzz and warn someone. I hate the thought of killing him in cold blood, although it is a better thing than he deserves. If I may suggest it, Planet Man, I have analyzed his nervous system. And if you will set your sonic disruptor at one quarter strength, it will stun him for at least... Twelve hours. That ought to be long enough. In twelve hours, we'll either be out of here or stuck for good. Okay. One quarter, you said. Yeah. Excellent. That will take care of him. Well, let's get going. One moment. What is it? I want to try something. Yes, I was right. Right about what? This race of insect men communicate by a kind of wave transmission. I wanted to see if I could intercept their communications. Can you? Yes, I'll amplify it for you. Listen. You're right, Beryl. Something big is up. Let us approach the exit into the city proper a little closer. The rocks somewhat dampen the waves, and I cannot make out the meaning. If our guide was right, the exit should be just around this bend. Yes, it's there, all right. Now, be careful. He might have been lying about the guard. No, there is no one there. I will detect his presence. Wait now. I can get the waves clearly. What is it? Do they know we're here? No, not that, but they are sending out a general alarm to their commanders. A large fleet has been caught in the field and is descending to the surface of the planet. A large fleet? That must be the Mardi. Slats must have gotten through after all. But you said caught in the field. There must be some mistake. Surely they wouldn't blunder into the same trap. Perhaps they did not realize how powerful the field was. 
that there is no mistake about their being caught. And now we've got to find that generator and destroy it. If we don't, not only are we stuck, but that whole fleet, too. Come on! Blazing sons of Sirius, look at that city. It's tremendous. The cavern must go for miles. How are we ever going to find that generator? My detector tells me the generator is located in that building, or rather beneath it. Are you sure? Past him. The insect man in the copter just sent a message to headquarters that he had reached the generator and they could use the men guarding it for the war party. They're sending to intercept the fleet when it lands. He is going to guard the building from above. Well, now we know where it is, but I don't see how much it helps us. If we were on the ground, we might be able to sneak up on the building, but he'll spot us from up there in a minute. We must eliminate him. Great idea, but how? No, wait, I have it. You have a plan? Yes, it's tricky, but it might work. And it's our only chance. What plan does Danto have to destroy the generator? Will he act in time? Or will Slats and the Marty fleet find themselves slaves of the insect people? We'll be back in a moment. But first, here is a message the Planet Man wants you to hear. Tune in again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Troll, the Planet Man. The Planet Man.